It's been wild. I seems like I've been playing all over the place. Uh, since I left the Tigers, I went to Atlanta for two years and then got designated there and kind of went on the uh, free agent train to a couple different spots, um, just trying to get back. But it's been a roller coaster of emotions, and yeah. you know I'm a baseball player. I just just want to play baseball. Well, you got the call from the Tigers. I did. This off season, what was that like when you got the call? Um, it was unexpected for sure. Once my agent told me that the Tigers were interested, my heart was racing pretty fast. Um, I loved it here when I played here. Um, and, you know, the front office has always been good to me. So being able to come here and try to, you know, kick off the second win of my career is um, really important to me. And I appreciate it a lot from the Tigers organization. And he got a strike three. Swing and a miss. Swing and a miss. He struck him out there for Kroll. Two gone. You were very vocal when you went into spring training. Is revenge tours yes. were the words that you said. I really just, you know, want revenge on the way things ended here as far as um, performance. Um, I feel like I could have been a better human on and off the field. But ultimately, I just, you know, I just want a chance to pay back, you know, the fans what they deserve, you know. Well, what sort of goals do you have for this season? Um, the number one goal would obviously be to be back in the big leagues. Yeah. Um, I think that's everybody's goal and dream. Um, but just to put up numbers and pitch for next year, um, try to have a little bit more longevity in the game and um, pass down some knowledge to the younger players for sure. After everything you've gone through and, you know, what would it mean to you to, to be back at Comerica pitching there? I, yeah, honestly, I, I've thought about that a lot. Yeah. Um, almost every other day, every day, like it, I can't put it into words because I don't know that feeling just yet and I don't know if it's going to happen, but it's going to be something special for sure. What would be the biggest difference between the Ian Curl that's sitting in front of me right now compared to the Ian that we saw you two years ago? Um, well, my maturity level is definitely a lot higher. <laughs> um, I am more serious about the game for sure and more motivated I think than I've ever been. And um, I'm healthy and, you know, ready to roll.